APC women to begin door to door campaign after inauguration. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The All Progressives Congress Women Presidential Campaign Council says it plans to deploy a selectionary strategy from home to further a, to f from home to home to further accelerate its reach to every nook and cranny of a country ahead of a 2023 presidential election. The appeal was contained in an address delivered by the National Coordinator of the Women's Campaign's team, Dr. Asabe Bashar, on Tuesday. Bashar made the clarification of the inauguration of another women's group, Progressive Sisters Network, and the launch of a sister-to-sister -sister campaign. The Progressive Sisters Network, led by Vinsola Abiola, a gender advocate and the daughter of late Chief Mashoud Abiola, is a nation it's a national women-led and focused organization which seeks to mobilize women vote through extensive grassroots focused voter mobilization projects and via specialized communication tools and platforms. The development is coming barely 24 hours after the integration of appointees into the campaign council at the presidential villa. The PSN, which also urged Nigerian women to accelerate the victories recorded so far, said no stone will be left unturned to ensure the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Asiwaji Bola Sinembu emerged victorious at the polls in 2023. In a goodness address, Bashar stressed that Sinembu had been known to be committed to the protection of women's rights and empowerment, including through landmark affirmative policies and actions that guarantee the inclusion of women, education investment programs, and the development of the girl child. She said Asiwaji backed and pursued several policies and government investment that enable the rise of women in various fields and life endeavors. This is why I believe women must come together on the same progressive agenda and ensure that Tunibu is sworn in as the country's next president. The national coordinator of the PSN said the group's foremost aim was to contribute a quota to mobilizing women vote for a father, leader and presidential candidate Tunibu and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima. She said, As the name suggests, our sister-to-sister -sister campaign is geared at mobilizing fellow women by engaging them extensively on why Tenebu should be the presidential preferred candidate. Our message is simple. The Tenebu Shetima ticket represents the greatest hope of equity for Nigerian women, and this assertion is backed by the public service track record of both men. The PSM will execute its nationwide campaign with a star crew of zonal and state officers, including the Deputy National Coordinator, Samira Sadiq, Northwest Zonal Coordinator, Aisha Ogi, Hawa Magaji, Northeast Zonal Coordinator, Abiodun Esiet, North Central Zonal Coordinator, Fumi Lola Onamusi, Fumi Lola Onamusi, South West Zonal Coordinator Lady Gidati Reginald Okun, South South Zonal Coordinator and Chief Mrs. Amaka Obu, South East Zonal Coordinator. Okay, oh, then APC, this serious work. Oh, again, so fun. let me tell everybody you. Oh. Hmm. Let me tell everybody you. Oh. Look, APC, though they play, oh, they are not playing. And like I said, Things they happen now. We are having a, 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 a global economic, you know, kind of meltdown. But Shugon, the one happening in my country, my dear country, Nigeria, that I've been pledging to when I was young, is not all, as in, it's not just, you know, it's not just global alone. Man, follow. I say during the election period in Nigeria, the economy is different. You know why? So that's why you're not they knock on your door like this. Maybe that's why they knock on your door. Now your children they cry, say they won't eat and food no day. So they're just going to come and save you. You understand? That is why I'm saying Shubon, this one we don't they catch us so we know go because of one meal, eh? Just one and then we throw away everything. We know go because of one meal throw away everything. Let us make sure.
Look, the I, I love their strategy, and I just wish that you know the mobilization, as in I beg, uh, mobilization of uh, most especially other political parties, make them start to make them make sure, say, at the end of the day, they're able to spread their message. And it should have started even before now. That is what I'm saying. Mobilization of political parties, especially the ones that are opposing uh, APC. They should have started before now, before even APC will bring their strategy. Okay, let them go to room to room. Let them go room to room campaign. God forbid to vote for APC, a failed political force. Okay, I hope they have the right way to convince an average Nigerian to vote their party again. This is party evangelism. Yes, I know why I'm saying this. Like I said, poverty has been weaponized in some areas. If you do not know what it means, it means people are struggling to feed, to have one square meal. Some people do 101, some people do 100, some do 010, and some do 011. Which means there are some days, there are some people who will be saying they don't get anything, anything at all to eat. So those kind of people, if you knock for their door and maybe they have children, most especially these areas where they don't, they have refused them from seeing the light. Imagine you enter house where we say there is poverty everywhere and they have like 12 children to feed and you are bringing one rice. Eh? And you are bringing one beans and you are bringing one granite oil and you are bringing one sachet tomato. Oh my rice don't don't know. <laughs> As in, you don't don't get that rice. So what am I, what are we saying? That is where we need to, I, I'm saying, a, a counter one should be going on so that if they are telling these people, you know, they will need to convince them more. And a lot of people of the opinion that whether I like it or not, uh, you are going to spend money during the campaign because you have to use it to convince people. Well, like I say, I'm just saying that this is for those who, at all at all, they know even, you know, get us to be them. You know, get us to be them at all. They should avoid my door or I'm not how we give them the kind of welcome they will regret. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> for the structure APC have, I think there's no need for evangelism. The evangelism is to go around and buy PVCs from those that want to vote other parties, but they have failed. Exactly. Go around and buy PVCs. By the time these women go to door to door and see what Nigerians are suffering in the hands of APC, they will start apologizing to Nigerians instead of campaigning. That's if they have conscience, I'll eventually become obedient and useful to the generation. Well, I've said enough. Oh, I hope people see what I'm uh, see what I'm saying. Eh? I feel these women will go and when they see everything, they will use that as an avenue to enter them. You know, take this one and take this one, and things will get better. And people will use hunger eye collect. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.